What's going on guys, my name is Suboptimal and today we're going to take a look at how to add font awesome icons into your React.js projects. So for those that don't know, font awesome is just a library that makes it really easy to add different icons into your project. So for example, I built my personal website with Next.js and I was able to add like Twitter, YouTube and GitHub as the icons. Uh, and before we get started, I'm just going to ask for one small favor from you guys and that is to leave a like on the video and continue consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. So the first thing we obviously want to do before we add font awesome into our project is to create that project. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be working with Next.js. And the reason I'm using Next is simply because Next makes it super easy to work with Tailwind CSS because the Tailwind team configured a command that you can use that's going to automatically set up Tailwind for you. So you could be doing this with Create React App, you could be doing this with Gatsby and just plain CSS but I want to use Next.js and Tailwind so that I can not only display the font awesome icon, but also change the color very simply just because I'm familiar with Tailwind. So the command I'm running here is npx create next app and then dash E with Tailwind CSS and specifying a project name. And I'll see you guys once the project has been set up. So the project just finished setting up. So let's just CD into that project and run npm run dev. And this is gonna start up the next project and you can go to localhost 3000 and it'll showcase what you got going on. So now the first thing we're going to do is just remove all this code because it's pretty much unnecessary for what we're doing right now. So I'm going to go to the index.js file which contains all of this code and all I'm going to really do is just delete all this code. And I'm just going to replace this with hi just so that you know we can see that it has been replaced. And you guys will see here that Yep, it's right over there, you got the high. Now, let's actually go in and add font awesome icons into our project. So now that we set up our Next.js project with Tailwind CSS and removed all the unnecessary code, the last thing to do is to import the font awesome library information and display it. Now there are multiple ways to do so, but I'm going to pick the easiest one just so you guys can get up and running as soon as possible. Now the two things that you're going to definitely want to download are these two libraries, font awesome free solid SVG icons and React dash font awesome. Let me install these inside of my project and walk through what each of them are. This free solid SVG icons library just contains all the solid SVG icons and the react font awesome library gives you a component that you can send these free SVG icons into and it's going to display them properly for you. So now that we've installed them, let me just do npm run dev and go to my main index file. Again, if you're just working with Create React App, you can do the same thing. It's basically the same code. So the first thing we want to do is import from font awesome React front from from this library. We want to import the component that is going to display our icon. And so I can press control space and see uh, what is available. And the one that we want is the font awesome icon. And so what we can pass into this icon is a prop called icon, uh, which is the actual icon that we import from our solid SVG icons. So the one I'm talking about here, so the free solid SVG icons. And let's just say that I import the FA coffee icon. We can go to our React code and just start passing in the icon that we imported, which is the FA coffee icon. And as soon as we save, we should see it inside of our project. And there you have it, you got the coffee icon up and running. So the next thing to do is obviously import some brand icons. So I already installed the brand icons, but again, the thing that you want to download is do npm i slash save free brand SVG icons. And here you get a ton of different brand icons that you can import. So you could do like FA and VS Code is going to suggest all the icons you can do. I'm going to do uh, YouTube because I mean, this is a YouTube video and I'm going to do maybe GitHub. All we're going to do now is go here and type font awesome YouTube and font awesome GitHub. And at this point, you know, you got your code. You got your icons displayed uh, in a vertical fashion. 
you can also change the color of them which is actually very easy to do um, all you got to do is add a class name and because I'm working with Tailwind, um, this should be pretty straightforward. On hover, I'm going to change the color of this uh, YouTube icon to be text-red500. And I'm going to change the uh, color of this uh, GitHub icon when you hover over it to be text dash. Let's just say, um, you know, gray 500. I saved that. Uh, let me just do a little bit of styling here. So it's in a uh, flex row class name. And so now we should see these icons, you know, horizontally. Let me just increase the text, maybe 6XL. There you go. So when you hover over these items, you know, you're changing the color. And of course you can change the background color. You know, you can do a lot of different um, styling, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to work with font awesome icons. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys learned uh, how to import font awesome icons along with learning how to style them. If you guys enjoyed, then feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content every single week. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.